Hi, welcome back friends. My name is Caleb Knowles and welcome to Raven Oak Art. Here's a place that I hope you are able to find peace and get away from the everyday struggles of life. Now, what I have here is a 20 by 16 canvas covered with liquid clear. And what liquid clear does, it doesn't necessarily widen, but it does make it easier to smear paint across the canvas. So I thought I'd do something a little bit different today. Um, I'm gonna do a seascape. I don't normally do ocean painting. So hopefully everything goes good and we'll see how it uh, goes. Let's get this started on this thing. So to start things off, I think we'll start with a little bit of crimson. Now, I think that we'll make this into a sunset. That's why I'm gonna say we'll start. Ooh, that is. That is a strong crimson right there. And just keep doing these crisscross motions. And this is gonna be an interesting seascape here. All right, grab a little bit of lighter primary red. Grab my palette knife. Grab a little bit of orange and mix that in. Crisscrossing and crisscrossing. Hope everybody had a great weekend and week this week. I myself have been quite busy getting things done around my house, dealing with my two dogs. I shouldn't really say dealing with their, their great dogs. Um, we've just been training our new pup. He's a He's definitely a handful. Very, very intelligent dog. We're going to keep on, you know, let's grab a little bit of that orange. Mix it with some yellow. Maybe add a little bit of white. Oh, yeah, that brightens it up. And, you know, cleaning this uh, art studio a little bit, too. That's definitely been keeping me very busy. And I know uh, I learned something new, actually, that I didn't know. Um, and I wish I would have known about it. And I'm glad I'm able to probably tell you guys, because maybe a lot of y'all know about it who are painting. Because... So I've been using a, a paint thinner that has been known to cause a lot of hazardous stuff, you know, cancers and stuff. Um, and I learned a good substitute for paint thinner is actually baby oil. So we've been, we've been using that and it has been working a lot better. So, you know, it saved y'all some money instead of buying that big name uh, fancy stuff and definitely for your oil paintings, it's probably a lot better for you. <laughs> so, yeah. What a crazy color we got going on here. I'm gonna grab some more of that white. I'll just, I'll just kind of softly put some white in there. Yeah. I want this to be kind of like a, a sunset and just be like real crazy, magical almost, and very powerful. Maybe we'll have some really insane waves. Let me grab some more liquid white. Reward that, not liquid white, titanium white. We don't have any liquid white on this here canvas. We normally do, but not on this one. Let me just grab that, that white. Oh yeah, that's cool. Just... 
grab a little bit more yellow. Yeah, I probably should have grabbed a little bit of lighter yellow for this painting, but you know what? I grabbed what I grabbed and it's already happened, so. Dragging that red down. All right. All right, that is cool. All right, let's, uh, let's just kind of give out the indication that we might have something going on. some titanium white and just and all I'm doing is just kind of going around with it flaking it around one of my first ever commissions was actually a seascape painting very nervous about it. it was one of those paintings where seascapes can definitely just be a very stressful thing you don't want to mess it up and it had a lot of significance for the person who it was for it was actually for his anniversary so that definitely added some pressure <laughs> and we'll just keep on going All I'm doing is just twisting the fan brush. Going 
even a little bit of the cast. Just picking up a little bit of the purple that was over there. You can even, if you want, just do some circles with it. And soften up that bottom. cool that is some cool effects it's doing let's grab a little bit of that violet mixture with all those purples we'll even add some up here and just yes like i said this is going to be a very important part of the painting i'll just kind of give it give it some impressions that the purple was Cross maybe. Yeah, I, I normally don't work with these colors, but I just think it would be something different and honestly really cool. So we had a little bit of stuff going on here at the bottom. So let me let me just grab it and go across to make sure that this is doing what it's supposed to be doing. <laughs> All right, let me. A few more times. And you want to leave like some white, all right? That way it gives off, there's a, you know, an idea that there's some reflection or something. All right, let's go ahead and clean that fan brush off with our baby oil. <laughs> About to say odorless uh, paint thinner. But no, it's a, it's a baby oil. All right, so let's go on and start kind of giving out the uh, indication that we have a coastline. Yeah, it's been storming over here these past few days. You know, been perfect days just to go ahead and do some painting. We got a little bit of a little bit of brush or something here. Let's Bring up a, some light right there, yeah. And as you get kind of closer to the edges, make it a little bit more lighter. See, so your focus is like really in this part. Yes. Let's see, how are we doing on time? We're at 12 minutes, okay. We're doing pretty good on time. We can just kind of go back and forth. Yes. You know, make your noises like you know I do. <laughs> you can hear my one of my pups outside right now. She's I think she's trying to get in. I'm assuming it's her. The little one can't quite make it down the stairs yet, so. <laughs> Y'all might have already seen her in one of the upper, other episodes we've done. I swear she is a, a, the diva of the household. And what's cool now, I can just kind of go back and forth. And that, you know that area we left the light up there? some impressions, some rougher impressions. And all I'm doing is kind of pressing in, kind of like almost as if the sun is sparkling off the ocean. I don't know if y'all have been to Florida or Maybe South Carolina, Myrtle Beach, they got some. Those are probably the prettier East Coast ones I've been to. Never actually had a chance to see the Pacific when I was out that way. I was too busy in the desert, so. <laughs> Enjoying my wonderful vacation at 29 Palms. Let me just kind of. Yeah, we're, 
I'm gonna keep forming this up. that looking <laughs> Just, yes. Grab our whitish, yellowish mixture and kind of start working on the edges with color. So, literally, all I'm doing is just patting and patting. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So now we'll we'll grab some. Uh, some purple go back to that actually let's clean this fan brush off get that white off and a lot of times when i'm going between this unless i'm scatterbrained i'm cleaning these brushes off so i'll just keep using a dirty brush unless you're using the same color then you can but we gotta gotta make a decision on if we're gonna have some waves so i know that i am gonna have a big old wave we'll just kind of bring him up Yeah, that is a, that is something, right? We'll just kind of, kind of mash them in. Just kind of. Just keep on grabbing that purple one. form like kind of our foliage for the um the wave and he's grabbing you want this part right here to be a little bit lighter so that it'll be like the sunlight coming through the wave so watch this i'm gonna, I'm gonna grab and pull down jamming but watching her Korean dramas and I'm not one to judge <laughs> I'm such an anime nerd I definitely got no right to judge <laughs> well, we'll grab some, uh, some yellow maybe and just, just grab like, and we're trying to emit some bright colors in this so it'll be like So you're working on the anatomy of this wave. That's really important. Grab a little bit more white now. And this, we'll just kind of go. We'll do the same thing we were doing earlier with the
Grab a uh... right. You know what? We're gonna do the same thing. We'll add another wave. But before we do that, let's add some. Uh... Walking on this here beach. We'll uh, clean our cut knife off. give uh, our fan brush another opportunity to shine. Let's grab uh, some of that violet, maybe that's some Prussian blue, because I want a darker color for this. So we'll, we'll give this wave a really big one, so he'll go whoosh. Even maybe. Same thing, we'll, uh, we'll let him do it this way. Yeah, that will make him go way up on this side. Let's see how we're doing on time. We're at 25 minutes. Okay. I'm not going to jinx it. <laughs> hmm. 
Now I'm gonna jinx it. Oh, maybe come. Yeah. Have him. Yeah, this painting would look great in someone who loves the ocean's house. Maybe a Navy veteran or something, maybe a Marine. I had a Marine that I had the absolute privilege of working with, great guy. He was one of the first people to buy my, one of my paintings, and it was actually a, a ship I had painted. It was, um, actually we'll make him go down this way. And eh, now nah, they, they go this way. He um he purchased a print of it. He was one of my uh, master sergeants, great guy. in somebody else's home and they appreciate it it's just as much, just as much as you do <laughs> you know what let's, let's, I really want this wave to be huge like just, a really big close up like this wave is hitting hard Actually, bring it this way. Yeah, that's that's gonna look great. Actually, can't make up my mind, but we figured it out. It took us a second. <laughs> okay. We'll probably add something in front of this here wave. Make him. I wish uh, I had a better camera so I could kind of show y'all like some close-ups or actually knew how to work a camera. We'll add some yellow. Maybe the highlight, yes. A little bit of orange. Gorgeous sunset. All right. Please let me know what you uh, guys think of these videos and how I might be able to improve on them. I'm trying my best to get one out each week and never really even, I'm bad at selfies, so that should tell you my uh, extent of knowledge when it comes to filming. Only reason I even started doing this is because um, I made a friend in Nigeria and he was asking how to do these landscapes and I was like man I don't even know how to kind of like even explain this and I just kind of got to watch somebody do it and he's like well why don't you post a video of it and I was like I don't know man that's that seems like a lot of work he's like well you can really help me you know, if you were to do that, and I was like, okay, so I Googled it, YouTubed it, and now that's kind of like what I do, so. Yeah, this is, 
we'll just keep that. Wave is just insane. And you know what? Maybe we'll we'll give it some rock. I don't want to do that. Let me grab some of that. We'll give off this uh, seascape. Well, before we do that, let's let's maybe grab some more white. <laughs> some veins to it and you don't want to blend it too much you want to keep some of these uh just cut beautiful colors I wonder, maybe, yeah, let's grab our two-inch brush. Maybe I can do something more with these waves, like the actual top part. So let's, let's maybe add some highlights. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Those highlights look a lot better. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think if these uh, look better the way I'm doing them now. Just left them alone. I think this looks better though. Website for uh, Raven Oak, and I'd be really honored if you guys would go check it out. We're uh, trying to sell some prints and just spread the good word about what we're doing here in regards to, to all our artwork and all these great painters and that we have. Um, ooh. That thing did not want to stick, did it? <laughs> so we'll just... Yes. We're getting it. Man. A lot of colors missing here. It's picking up those oranges underneath. Kind of like a little mountain right here, just in the foreground. Alright. Yes. 
Let's see, how are we gonna do the color? Also. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, like I was saying, it's uh there's a lot of good stuff up on the website. And please, if you like these videos and want to stay in touch with what we're doing, please like and subscribe and if you're new well only more great things are coming so just keep an eye out on us all right we'll just color do we want to do? And I know that we want white. Maybe a little bit of that yellow from earlier. Maybe a little bit of crimson. This sure is just a, this is the color we started with to begin with. We'll just kind of Some of that off, go back, grab some, some more white, maybe just add a little bit more of that. Okay, almost. Got like the some coral. Don't freak out, you know, if you make a mistake right there at the bottom. We're probably going to add a little bit more waves. And yeah, and then we'll just kind of use this on the back side. Yeah, just don't have to be perfect. Some of that pink-ish, coral-ish color we created. as it as I can stick. Let's see. Alright, that's cool. I will even bring it all the way down. Alright. And you know what? Let's grab some more of that white and from earlier. And we can even kind of Hmm. I'm gonna actually grab that palette knife and just go across. Nah, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> My bad, I know I'm confusing everyone. I just got a lot of ideas when it comes to this. We'll, we'll actually bring this up and it'll be almost as if there's a beach or something. Go across real quick. And then over this. And then we'll... All right. We're 
dry brush now. He's gonna come. And all I'm kind of doing is just blending them down to our newly formed beach. All right. Well, that is. A wide range of stuff on this here uh, thing. and now I'll grab a, a thinnerish, thinnish, as I should say, little brush. And we'll even give it maybe a, a third. All right, well, let me uh, go ahead and do my close up on everything. Show you guys what we did and hopefully you guys like it. So let me uh, do it from this angle, but. Oh man, that glare is really bad. Maybe from this angle. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> well, this is our painting, guys. Um, hopefully, I was able to inspire you to pick up a brush and give art a try. Um, you know, it's something that just takes a lot of practice, and the more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. And, you know, um, please tell me what you think of it. And,. Send me pictures of what you guys do. I always love to see uh, what other people are creating and talk art. Um, Y'all can contact me and send me pictures at um, ravenoakart at yahoo.com. And um, check out our Instagram. Man, my brain is not working right now. It is ravenoakart. And um, what else? What else? Yeah, and also our website, Raven Oak Art at Yahoo, not Yahoo, at RavenOakArt.com. Oh my goodness gracious, I am, I got to get some sleep. <laughs> but yeah, this soon, once it dries and we're able to take pictures, should be up if anyone's interested. And yeah, y'all have a blessed day. Stay strong um, and just keep painting. All right, well, I got to go stop sweating. Catch you guys later. Bye.